In this video, I'll be covering the interface within the repricing software. Once you're in the active listings, under the listing tab, you'll see different columns that indicates the settings of each listing. First, let's look at the left side of the table where it says actions. Once you hover the mouse over the button, you will see that you could access more tabs, which are competitor analysis, price history, match min and your price as lowest price or buy box price, and reload cost from inventory lab. Next, in the repricing column, you can determine whether the listing is enabled or paused by checking the play or pause icon. On the right, you'll find the group column displaying the name of the group to which a listing is assigned if you assign any listing into groups. Next, you can find the SKU, status, and condition for the listing. Then we can find more information of the same listing, such as the listing title, its fulfillment method, the number of total offers on Amazon, the ASIN, the buy box win percentage, the type of seller who wins the buy box, the position of your listings, and the sales rank, which it is currently at. Moving towards the right of the table, we have the date created for the listing, the quantity of your product, the costs and min and max prices, and the rule. Then we have your price plus shipping, which is your current price on Amazon. Finally, we have the shipping costs, which will show you if you have any cost for shipping, such as your FBM shipping costs. Finally, there are some information such as lowest price, current buy box price, and units sold for 30 days and units sold for seven days and also estimated profit. If you have any questions, just click on the learn more button on the top right corner of the screen or shoot us an email at support at You could also use our live chat and I'll see you in our next video.